Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. In this question, um, I'm going to be answering question number four from the Solomon J P2 collection. She's called the C2 collection. And it's from an, a collection of Edexcel questions from the past, um, which have been collected together. This is from the J paper, and it's about binomial expansion. It corresponds to question number nine from an endotopic worksheet on uh, p2 topics and it's a binomial expansion topic of course so here it tells us the first three terms in the expansion in descending powers of x of x plus k over x squared to the power 15 where k is a constant are x to the power 15 plus 30 x to the power 12 plus a x to the power 9 find the values of k and a okay so now let's get started so it says the first three terms, one, two, three, in descending powers of x. So if we set up our binomial expansion, okay, we know that basically the first term, okay, is going to be x to the power 15. We can see that basically the first term is given by 15, 0, ncr, 15, c, 0. And then you've got whatever's in the first position here, which is x. And this is because we're going on descending powers of x, we start with the highest, which is going to be 15 here. And then you're going to have what's in the second bracket, which is k over x squared. And this is going to be to the power of 0. Okay, and we can see that's going to give us x to the power of 15. I'm just showing you the pattern so that we can continue. So we know that 15 c0 is 1, and x to the power of 15 is x to the power of 15. And anything to the power of 0 is 1. So k over x squared all to the power of 0 is 1. So, of course, we get x to the power 15, which is the first term, as we can see. Now we're going to do the same thing for the second term, and that might help us um, to find what k is, because k is going to be an unknown in this. So let me just make that a bit neater. Okay, so the second term is going to be 15 and 1, and you'll have x to the power of 14. You keep going down by 1, and this one increases by 1, so it's going to be k over x squared to the power of 1. So as you, this number stays the same in the NCR, this bottom number increases by 1, and this one, you get the power decreasing here and the power increasing there. So we want to have descending powers of x, so this one has to go down. I'll just set up the next one as well, because we've got the first three terms here. So this is going to be 15, and this is going to be a 2, and this is going to be x, and it's going to go down by 1, so it's going to be 13, and this is k over x squared, and this is going to go up by 1, so there's going to be a 2 there. Okay, so let's now see what happens. 15c1 is 15. x to the power of 14. So 15 times x to the power of 14. And times, and this is going to be k over x squared. k divided by x squared. And when you simplify that, you're going to get 15. And times k uh, times x to the power of 12. Okay, so we can see here now, we'll be able to find k. In fact, we can see that's going to be 2 here. Because the coefficient of x to the power of 12 is 30, and we've got 15k times x to the power of 12, so k must be 2. So we'll deal with that in a minute. Let's just finish this off. So then we've got 15c2. Let me get the calculator out. Okay, so 15c2, 15, c2, 15 NCR button 2. And that gives us 105. So that's going to be 105. Then you have x to the power of 13. So times x to the power of 13 times, that will be k squared over x to the power of 4. Multiply the powers. So that's going to give us 105 times k squared, okay, um, times x to the power of 9. All right, so now we need to find what um, a is. So this is, we can see a is going to be given by this 105k squared. So now if we compare the coefficients, we can see, I'll just write it down here, we've got x to the power 15. And what does it say up there? It says 30x plus 30x to the power of 12. And then it says plus a x to the power of, plus a x to the power of 9. And we know that that's equal to our x to the power of 15, which is fine, plus 15k x to the power of 12 plus 105k squared x to the power of 9. So we can see the coefficients of x squared, of x to the power of 12, sorry, is 30, and that's equal to 15k. So I'm going to make a bit more space here. Okay, 
So what we can say here is that 30 is the same as 15k. So therefore we can say k is equal to 2. And we can also compare the coefficients of x to the power of 9. So this is comparing x to the power of 12. If we compare x to the power of 9, we're going to have a is equal to 105 times k squared. And we know k squared is 2. So, so we know k is 2. So that means a is equal to 105 times 2 squared, which is 105 times 4, which is going to be um, 105 times 4, which is 420. So we found that k is equal to 2 and a is equal to 420. So we found the value of a and k. k and a, you got k is equal to 2 and a is equal to 420. And that's the answer for question um, 4, part A of Solomon J. I'm going to go now on to part B. It says, find the value of the term independent of x in the expansion. So we've got x... We've got x plus k, which is 2, over x plus k over x squared. So 2 over x squared to the power 15. Okay, so we've got to find the term independent of x. Okay, the term independent of x in this expansion. Okay, so now, the term independent of x means a term where there's be no x, there'll be no x term. The x term, it'll just be a constant. And we can see that if we consider the terms we're going to have, we're going to, start, we're going to have 15 and some number here, which we don't know. All right, we're going to work out what that number is. And then you're going to have x to the power of something, and you're going to have 2 over x squared to the power of something. Now, these two terms have to add up to 15, and it should be such that, okay, that these two terms, okay, will cause x values which will cancel each other out because you're going to have something in the numerator and something in the denominator. Okay, so if I raise this to a certain power, that power should be such that this cancels out. Okay, so of course, um, this has to be raised to a higher power than that. Okay, because this has to be raised to a power. This is, this is x squared. You're going to multiply these two. Okay, so whatever I have to, have to put here is going to be something which is going to be double that. Okay, so that it... It cancels it out. Okay, so you're going to have, you'll have x to the power of something divided by x to the power of the same power. Okay, and we know the two powers have to add up to 15. Okay, so you can think about it like, all right, um, I can have x to the power of 15 over x to the power of 1. Oh, sorry, x to the power of 0. That will be 0. If that's 15 and that's 0, you'll end up with x to the power of 15. If that's 14 and 1, you'll end up with 12. If that's uh, 13 and 2, as you see, we're going to end up with 9. That's what happened here. Okay, 13 and 2, you're going to end up with 9, because it's going to be 13, and divided by, it'll be x to the power of 13, divided by x to the power of 4. We have to have x to the power of something divided by itself, so that you cancel out the x's. All right, so we've got to think about what we can raise this to. So as we said, if this is 13, and this is going to be a 2, that will be, that's going to be x to the power of 13 over 4, which will give you 9, 13 minus 4. If you carry on thinking that way, if I make this, for example, x to the power of 11, and then I make this is, the, so that's the squared there, um, that will have to be a 4, I'm going to get 11 over 8. If I make this 12, and that's a 5, okay, that's going to be a 5, sorry, that's going to be a 3, sorry. If that's a 12, that will be a 3, that's going to be 12, that's going to be 6, it won't work. Okay, however, if I make this 10, and I make this 5, they add up to 15, and when I raise this to the power of 5, I'm going to get x to the power of 10. So you'll end up with x to the power of 10 over x to the power of 10, the x terms will cancel out. So that's how you can think about this to try and work out. You have to find so that these two numbers add up to 15, and that basically um, these will cancel out. And when you, when you raise this to the power of 10, that will also be to the power of 10. So that's how you can try to figure it out. Okay, so now we can do the expansion. So I know that's 15, so I can put a 5 here. I could even put a 10 here, it would still work. All right, so now I've got 15 C5. So 15 C5. 
which gives me 3003. And what I'll just show you that 15C10 will give you the same thing because it's, it's it's symmetrical. Gives you the same thing. 3003. Then I have times x to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 5, which is 32 over x to the power of 10. As you can see, they cancel out. So you've got 3003 times 32. So multiply this by 32. And you get your answer 96096. You get 96096. 96,000 and 96 is the value of the term independent of x. So that's the term that will not have any x in it because the x is cancelled out because you get x to the power of 10 over x to the power of 10. See, so you have to think about how the x's will cancel out for it to be independent of x. And there we have the answer for this question. Question number four from Solomon J. I hope that was clear. And I'll see you again soon.